Welcome, 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 everybody. Uh, I'm waiting for Ghost Lady. She was uh, with me, but she's gone. Malaz. Yeah. How are you, my brother? How are you, brother? Good, my man. How are you? I'm great, man. Where are you from, my G? I'm from Mukopa, anywhere. I'm in Japan now. Oh, you're in Japan at the moment? Yeah, G. Jeez, how's it going that side, man? Ah, bro, it's nice. It's okay, man. It's not as bad as, like, seeing uh, videos from home and posts and stuff like that. It's not what, that bad. What kind of videos are you seeing from home? The ones where they're making like, people squat? Yeah, my soul jump fit. It's rough, that side. Ah, <laughs> Uh, it's not really it's not really that rough man it's just that you know some people don't want to listen you know yeah 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 and it's a big difference because like in japan though these guys are too disciplined right like there's no enforcement of stuff like we just tell them guys it's an emergency uh please stay home whatever and they just do it and uh, what are you doing in japan so i was studying here uh i've been here for the past two and a half years Mm. uh yeah, so I just actually finished today. Oh, you so finished? Been, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just oh. finished. Yeah, today. Oh, nice. What were you studying? Uh, geology. I was doing my master's in geology. Hey, win the money, Moose. Hey, you can fund the podcast. Ah, how we are trying. <laughs> as soon as I'm home. Boy. As soon as I'm home. Oh, shit. That's dope, dog. So you're going to be working that side or you're going to come back and work? No, 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 no. So uh, the company that brought me here... Uh, has projects in South Africa. So mm. hopefully when I go back, then they'll slot me in somewhere. Oh, that's dope. Talk. And you got a girlfriend that's yeah. it? No, no, no. I'm engaged. My fiance is at home. Ah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. So you haven't smashed that side, my G? No. Nah, Not even? No. Nah. <laughs> and nah, how, often, bro. how often do you see the fiance, though? Uh, last was here in December, so I haven't seen her for the past three months. Damn, must be tough. I don't think I can handle long distance, bro. Ah, brother, this podcast and chill, man. We're good. We're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I know, my G. It's nice to see that you're doing well. Well done. Congratulations yeah, once man. again. Thanks, bro. You two on the podcast, bro. Like a bend been following you guys. Ah, ben, thank you so ben, much, ben, man. Ben, 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 ben. Yeah, hey, yeah. Do you know how to speak some Japanese? Can you teach us something? What do you want me to say? Uh, like how? I know Kuninchiwa. Kuninchiwa, which one is that? Konnichiwa. Hello. Yeah. That's Japanese yeah. or Chinese? It's Japanese. Oh, yeah. What do you think about this whole theory that uh, the Chinese um, started the coronavirus to uh, fuck up America? I think it's true. I think the recipe went wrong. Too much sugar. They made COVID. Should have added less sugar. You think it's true? It. They just messed it up. I think it's true. Bro. Either, either they did it for their own benefit or it's just US who did it to them, but it's now just backfiring. Mm, yeah, but, but it's definitely between... I don't think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's a natural thing, but these guys have been, been eating bats, bro. Like, why now? Mm. Does not make any sense. Like, why not? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that's crazy. All right, cool, man. Uh, what do you want to say before I drop the call? Oh, yeah, you were teaching us some Japanese. Yes. How do we say hi? How are you? Uh, konnichiwa, genki desu ka? Konnichiwa, genki desu ka? Genki desu ka? Genki desu ka? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that sounds potent, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my G. And how do you say goodbye? Uh, sayonara. Sayonara. All right. Sayonara. That one is easy. Sayonara, my G. Yeah, bro. Cheers, <laughs> my Away. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great, man. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm excited too, man. Where, 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 you, um, where are you from? I'm from the Eastern Cape, but I'm in Peter Maritzburg. Oh, and how's it been going your side, man? It's been okay. It's been, unfortunately, today is graduation day, and I'm just like, ah. Uh, 
Mm, who, who are you quarantining with? Are you alone? I'm alone. I'm alone, unfortunately. You lie. So when last did you get laid then, Moose? Oh my God, Benji! <laughs> it's a valid question, eh? Yeah? <laughs> Holy Ghost fire. Hey, sorry, what did you say? <laughs> I said Holy Ghost fire. What is that? What is that? Ivo, don't you go to church? I'm here. <laughs> yeah, go sleep. Holy Ghost fire. <laughs> First lady, welcome. Uh, we're chatting to Nasipi here, ne? Um, yes. So she's and quarantining. Yeah, so she's quarantining and alone. So I asked her when last did she get laid since she's alone. And then she said yeah. she's got something about ghost fire. Holy ghost. She has a holy ghost fire. First lady. Holy ghost fire. Yeah. See, this lady understands me. No, but explain. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> explain what? <laughs> what should I explain? What is so the, Holy the Holy Ghost fire? Holy Ghost fire. In Jesus' name. So Jesus is rocking you. And it vibrates. <laughs> 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 I'm just trying to understand who's this Holy Ghost fire. What's going on? Yeah? Jesus, the Son of God, is busy ah, with you. Is that what you call your dildo or something? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my oh my Lord, Mike. Londi is also with us, but her mic is off. Okay, let me oh, type. Yeah, we go. There we go. Hey, Londi, how are you? Hey, I'm good, guys. How are you? Hey, Londi. Hey, wow. You know, I'm Kaya today. <laughs> What's up? Londi, are you also in Maritzburg? I'm originally from, Mar from Peter Maritzburg. Oh, oh, and where are you now? Yeah. I'm based in, in Joburg now. Wow. And how's it going? How's it going, Londi? Are you have you run out of alcohol yet? Oh man. I didn't buy alcohol. That was by intention, by the way. <laughs> um Good. I, I wanted I said to myself, 21 days is nothing. Let me just not buy anything. I signed up for the 21 days. I did not sign up for the extra 40 days. Wow. <laughs> so you must you must be losing your mind right now. I, the worst part of it all is that I literally stay alone. So, okay, oh. we asked, you see, uh, uh, Nasipa, Nasipi, ne? we asked her because she's also, yeah, because she's also quarantining and alone. We asked her when last she yeah. got laid. She didn't tell us. She spoke a whole lot of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about you, Londi? Um, a day before lockdown, actually. Oh, okay. Hey, now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I regret why I didn't uh, take up that offer of just uh, remaining behind. I was like, no, I'm leaving. I did not know it was going to be like this. Was it your husband? Yeah. I mean, you or your boyfriend? <laughs> hey, hopefully. <laughs> Are you a side chick? <laughs> no, it's fairly new, so uh, it's it's the oh, oh, we oh. getting to know each other stage, you know. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome Otwa. Otwa on the live. Otwa, how are you, Otwa? What's up? What's up? Hey, we good, man. Nice to finally see you, bro. Hey, yeah, dude. It's like it's been a while. <laughs> and you, where you coming from? I've been trying to connect the whole time, and yeah, I'm Cape Town, dude. Oh, how's Cape Town, bro? Cape Town, loving this lockdown, like other people. You're loving the lockdown? What? I'm loving the lockdown. Loving Why? The lockdown. Look, a lot of good things happened, ne? Because of the lockdown. It saved me a lot of money. Because I was about to go fully into the whole events thing. And... Yeah, scrap all the savings, put in that, open the business, but I would have been completely fucked if I had done that now. 
Oh, so you're about so, to reach into events. Events, full on. Yo. Full on, full on. So I would have been As who does And I'm reading articles media. like in the US saying that they're postponing events, might even take up. Yeah, so it's crazy. Yeah. yeah man. Uh, uh, you were saying, Londi, you do events for a living. Yeah, so wow. it's, it's bad. I wanted to die. The last event in Javed, I just made peace with everything. When they told us that they canceling, they they canceling Obrigado, I wanted to die. I was like, you know what? It's fine. Just this year must just end already. Oh shit! All right, Nasipe, uh, nice to talk to you. We'll chat soon, ne? All right, Mechi, bye. Bye. Say bye to Nasipe, guys. Bye. Bye, Nasipe. Bye, love. All right, cool. So, uh, so what kind of e- events do you guys do? Do you do like big festivals or corporate? What kind of events are you talking about? Um, I started when I got introduced to events. I just went really in with the not not corporate. I haven't done any corporate events. Guys, I'm so sorry, my No, I don't stress. The connection is bad. I know yeah, it's the so rain. Just... <laughs> yeah, it is. It okay. Is. So yeah, it's just those those big uh, events, festivals, and stuff. So it's it's. Which which kind of festivals? Event. Like major league gardens? What what festivals are we talking about? I've done I've done quite a, and uh, um, a couple of back to the city. I've oh. done last year. I did the Devon July. I saw you at the Devon July. We were passing by. I was like, ah, this guy. You lie. Anyway, <laughs> I saw you, you were with Len. You guys were passing by. I was like, ah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, I'm just I'm just bummed by all the My, my sound is really doesn't mind because I'm literally doing bad you guys. All right, Otto. Okay, cool, man. We'll we'll put you. We're gonna have to let you go then. But thanks for calling, eh, Otto. All right, yeah. sweet. Cool, man. His connection is bad, but thanks for calling, Otto. Uh, sorry, as you were saying, yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying it's 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 ridiculous on our side because really, ah, uh, we we put all our uh, all 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 of everything that I mean to to these events and then this thing happens and it's like okay, what now? <laughs> you know, how much and how much money do you think you'd lose if you don't host any events for let's say a year? Jeez. Jeez, let's let for for a year. Oh my god, my goodness! I don't know, but maybe a good five hundred k. Yes, you know, yes. if it's mm. like huge, huge events, obviously. Like, for instance, if we were to lose out on the Devon July now, let's just wrap it up. That's let's not gonna happen. You day. you know, it's yeah. not gonna happen, right? Let's call it a, a day this year. Like, this is it. Mm-hmm. How much would you, you lose know, from no. not doing the Devon July? Uh, from the Devon July, I think. Uh, let me see. Once, uh, no, 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 no. I think it's ninety. Yeah. Ninety k. Ninety. Yeah. This is you personally, ne? No, no, no. This is the company. Oh, so the company. Yeah, yeah. You still need to pay people and everything. So it's 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 crazy. So what are you gonna do now? It's because crazy. I don't I don't see uh, any big events happening anytime soon. So you uh, guys. Are- the Durban in July is definitely not going to take place this year. It's not confirmed. I, I, We're just speculating. It yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not confirmed. Oh. We're just speculating. Yeah. Hmm. I'm, I'm worried it might not. No, it's know, not going to happen. Might, we mm. might. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's going to happen either. Not so, a chance. I don't know, man. I guess, I guess one will just have to focus on, because I had just started uh, getting into this whole. Um, I don't know whether I should call it property, but you renting out uh, flats for students. But that as well is just at a standstill. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, because all the I'm still coming up with yeah, still coming up with a plan to survive for the next couple of months. So we'll, well see. Well, it's it's it sounds like when are you not that desperate right now? It sounds like at least you have alternatives and ulterior plans but there's some people who literally depend on just events not really not really because i had just started i mean i just started this year with the students thing student accommodation thing so it has it i haven't seen anything happening on that Mm. side so 
it's I we are fat big pie. <laughs> So how are you how are you paying your bills right now? Uh, what I did was with the little bit of the of, of cash that I got end of February, I just pushed with rent for for three months, and I right now the G, I can imagine. Yeah, it's heavy. You know, we're having to wake up in the morning and actually think that it's okay. It's been two weeks now. It's been three weeks. What's the plan? It's it's crazy. So now, mm. if events, if they say, if the president says, okay, events will only commence from twenty twenty one, will you be fucked for the rest of the year? Pretty much. Pretty mm. much. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. So since I've been a good daughter back at home, they might just need to help a sister survive now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else can I do? <laughs> What yeah, now's the time when parents have to come through, you know. They've I know they have to. Now it's like, hey, yes, parents. All yeah, right. definitely, definitely. All right, Londi, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for calling through. Thank man. you guys for this. It's it's you helping us with this. You have no idea. This really helps a lot. You have no idea. You are helping for- us. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> thank you for the we podcast. Look Thank you so much. I was one of the first 100 subscribers, by hey! the way. I'm there. Somewhere oh! 50 something. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, Lodi. Sammy, how are you, my brother? I'm good, and you guys? Great, man. Where are you from, Sammy? It's Pretoria. How is Pretoria, hey, Sammy, from Pretoria. <laughs> it's raining this side. Yeah. <laughs> are you dating someone or are you single? Um, dog. You had to date? go there. <laughs> I am. Uh, hey. Yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> who, who are you dating? Who is she? Okay, are you quarantining with the right person or the wrong person? <laughs> uh, with the right person. <laughs> with the right person. Where is she? Where is she then? No, she's on bed. She's in bed. She's with you now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, so let's talk to her. Through. Yeah, what let's talk to her. Let's see her. Nah, she's not on in the mood, man. She just got bad news today, so yeah. Oh, what bad news? Do they lay off or something? They no, they ain't getting paid. Ooh. Oh, damn. Hey. Yeah. All right, Tepiso has joined us. Tepiso, how are you? There's Tepiso on the line. What up? What up? What up? Uh, are you still getting paid, Tepiso? <laughs> Um, my man, I've been in the same boat with you since last year, April. I, I haven't gotten a job since, so yeah. Hey, finally, someone who's been unemployed. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey my man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my man. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> so what, are you using fiber now or the last data that you were able to purchase? Um... Before I quit my job in April last year, I got a contract yeah, at Telecom. Yeah, 20 gigs. So I've been using that since, yeah, since last year. Ah, uh, but so oh. Ghost Lady. Oh. Eh? Did you hear Ghost Lady? He's talking from a point yeah, of pri- so, privilege. He quit. Yeah, he quit. That's no, why no, I'm no, sure. no. like, wait. <laughs> you, 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 you didn't not lose a job. You quit a job. <laughs> so- Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. And recording. Sorry about that, Tepisa, man. No, it's all good. It's all good, man. It's all good. Yeah, so you were saying... Man, you, you, you something. Yeah? Oh. Yeah? I ex- um, like, last night, I actually had a dream that I was chatting to you guys via this thing. So weird. Ah, you are a man with a vision. <laughs> well, oh yeah, make you. You say dreams do come true, exactly. You see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. With with enough hard work, right? <laughs> 
Okay, so tell but me. But you're what... out here like quitting jobs, so, you know. Yeah, tell me, take us back to when you quit. What were you doing and why did you quit? Um, I was in the corporate business. Um, 2018, late there, I got depression because I didn't like what I was doing. I was a knowledge worker. So after that, like... You I, said a, a knowledge did, worker? Um, yeah, a knowledge worker. Like basically we, we would um, categorize or inventorize the company's information so that it's easier for them to, to find in the organization. Oh. It was a oh, contacting okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, so, yeah, so um, late 2018, I got depression. I didn't know what it mm. was. I was drinking heavily. But mm. then, you know, um, yeah, towards the end of October, I even um, ended up being uh, diagnosed with depression. Went to a hospital for like three weeks. You love. So oh, went wow. back to work. Yeah, like late um, that year, 2018, I went back to work just a bit. And then earlier last year, I went back to work again. But towards March, I could feel that I was heading back to where I was before. Where you were, so yeah. Like, nah. Yeah, I was like, nah, mental health and my health comes first, eh? If That's true, 100%. I mean, I always encourage yeah. people that... Yeah. You must always do what you love, and then the money will come after, you know? Yeah, yeah. And how did, you, how did you how did you get yourself out of that space? You love and there's no money. Hmm? No, I'm saying... Uh, you mean so depression? Get yourself out. Yeah, yeah. How, what did you do? Um, it's a process. I was on pills for a while, uh, medication, mm -hmm. antidepressants. But okay. those were heavy because they actually harm your harm your lungs. There are mm. some whereby um, just, just written that they will eventually cause kidney failure. So I was like, nah. Not that ain't good. That. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I started, that's when I actually started becoming a bit spiritual. I would meditate okay. and then I would exercise, you know, eat healthy. And then like I would journal, you know, write down things. And actually nice. being more aware of how I'm feeling and asking myself why I'm feeling like that and try to come up with a solution. No, good. When you were diagnosed with um, depression, had you ever felt that before? And maybe you just didn't know what that feeling was. Yeah, you, you know what happened? Um, every single day, like, I would drink over the weekend and then on a mm -hmm. Monday, I'll be like, you know what? I'm fine. Later on, I would buy two bottles of wine. It was an everyday type of thing. I didn't know wow. that was depression. Yeah. And what, what was depression? I... Hmm? What was your trigger? Yeah, what was your trigger at the time? Um, I used to stay at this uh, cottage with this other guy. So this other guy is like they made, well... Yeah, they made my life a bit of a living hell. So that also mm. contributed because I stayed in the cottage, they stayed in the main house, they controlled like the, the electricity and whatnot. We were both renting, but the landlady what? was not. So they would switch off the electricity and whatnot. And me, I'm a chill guy, I don't like confrontation, you know? And sometimes when I would complain about it, so like the landlady, she would be like, well, I would send her the, the, the SMS, or I would send a WhatsApp messages. Mm. And uh, my banner would just send the, send the messages to the guys in the house. And then now that causes conflict between me and the oh. guys. Well. Because it's like you're snitch now. Yeah. Exactly. Ish. So you go to a, yeah. So it go to a point where by hours, even it was hard for me to sleep. I don't know if my spirit was not uh, comfortable or something, but yeah, I you're unsettled. Because I would dream about these guys killing me and whatnot. Mm. Mm. So who did you confront? So after I got out of bed, who did you confront? Because you know, as black people, we don't believe in stuff like this. Nah, and, and actually, a funny thing is that after I got diagnosed, I was at the hospital. My girl, my then girlfriend, came to visit me. 
And then after when she got there, she was like, ah, can't you are okay? I thought it was I thought you were dying. I just like <laughs> how education is nothing. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, you know, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like you look healthy. They, they, they thought you would be sick, frail, yeah, yeah, finished. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's like I no, you you're fine. And I'm like ah ah ah. Yeah, That's why yeah. Now she's my ex. So yeah, no wonder. Is it weird how we have so many misconceptions as black people about depression and anxiety? You know. Yeah. Dude, and they and I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who are still depressed because I still they are a people, whole lot. Yeah, and like they can't leave their jobs and whatnot. I was lucky because I don't have like responsibilities yet, so I could like quit my job and try to find something, you know. Mm, so for mm. others, they got responsibilities. Yeah. And they are stuck. They can't. Yeah, but you know, make... yeah, yeah. And thing about mental health is that it's a it's an everyday process. Does your family I mean, know? Like as long as yeah, 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 yeah. I call my my dad because like the the reason how my aunt find out found out is because I I actually wanted to commit suicide. I called them like, hey yo, I love mm. you and. Uh, yeah so one of my aunts knew where i was i was staying and then she came through and wow then she took me to my other aunt's place and the whole time i was thinking guys i'm fine and i just wanted to go back to my place and drink the pills oh shame yeah. but you see now they yeah. actually really like but, they helped you out yeah 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 because that's yeah. where i really saw that who is the most important person in my life? Because even friends, I can count them with one hand. Friends that came mm. through, and I didn't even tell them. They were just checking up on me, and then I was like, hey, yo, I'm in a hospital. Why? I didn't even want to tell them, but, you know, oh. it is what it is. Yeah. And, and do, you, um, do, you, do you still have flashbacks about the day you wanted to commit suicide? Like, do you have triggers when you see something, maybe on TV? Um, Nah, nah, nah. I, I, I don't think about that anymore. I do still get like very low sometimes, but like um, me going back to that. Like, and how are you uh, coping now? How are you coping? Beco- yeah, how are you coping now? I wanted to ask. Are you completely healed from uh, that with, now? No, I don't think that a person can say that they are completely healed from it, because. Uh, on a regular, like if something bad happens, you just have like uh, these feelings, these unwanted feelings. So the thing about depression is acknowledgement that, okay, I have this thing. Now I need to take the proper steps. And one of the steps is writing things down, how you're feeling like, and also awareness is a big thing. Like Mm. when you see those triggers, you you have to know, you know what? This is happening, so this is what I need to do. So now what I do for myself is exercise is a big thing for me. Okay. Even now that we're not going to gyms, I, I have two dumbbells that I use, you know, for the form of exercise. I also mm. meditate. Yeah, and try to eat as healthy as as much as possible, yeah. So now that wow. you're unemployed, are you are you happier though? <laughs> Um, now that I'm unemployed, I'm away from that job. I am happy, but the fact that what's next in my life is what's worrying me. Like, what mm. what do I need to do here on this earth? You know, what's my purpose? So it's like yeah. you substituted one so, anxiety for another because now you're anxious about you know how am I going to make money and those things are running through your head. Yeah. 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 So, but luckily, you know, I have a car and I didn't know I could hustle until I was supposed to hustle. So now, nice. you know, um, yeah, I'm doing some, well, lately what I'm doing is I'm delivering some, I'm, I'm working with this other company, like delivering medication to people that need medication, delivering food, you know, mm-hmm. those are the stuff that um, are keeping me, you know, afloat. 
and listen, be man. able to buy data so that I can be able to chat with you guys. Ah, Tepisa, listen, man, we commend you. And I, I, I now I speak on behalf of Ghost Lady. I think it takes a lot of guts yeah. for someone to mm. quit. Just let alone whether you have mental health or not, just mm. to take that step of mm. course. So yeah. I commend you for that. And I commend yeah. you for putting your mental health at a high priority than, you know, all these uh, frivolous yeah. things like money and shit like that. No, thank you, man. Definitely. No, thank you, man. Because at the end Not of the day, it's life that matters. Right, you know? Life is so important. And yeah. 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 And, like, and, and what do you um, want to do? Like, I, what do you think makes you happy? What do you want to do? Um... Don't tell me you want to rap, Joe. I just, I want, I want to. <laughs> ah, dude, how did you know? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I actually want to be um, a comedian or speaker as well. Make people more aware about this thing. That is oh. so crazy. Ghost Lady, do you know comedians are the people that suffer with depression the most? The most, yeah. It's crazy. People who, yes. The desire to see people yeah, laugh is actually the desire that you have, you know? To just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we, pick, we put on the biggest mask. Exactly. Like we are the happiest people. And then underneath we are dying. You know? Yeah. But that's that's something that like we need to understand that showing your emotions is not really such a bad thing. It's how you, it's the first step to actually getting better and understanding yourself, you know? Yeah. You must check Definitely out. Definitely so you're yeah, a strong man, you know. You must check out there's a comedian on Netflix yeah. and um he basically mm-hmm. he, He's in the same WhatsApp group as Sippy, so he also suffers from depression. He wrote um a couple of jokes. Uh, well, he's worked a very long time with Dave Chappelle. Um, mm-hmm. So he in oh, wow. the stand up he talks about his depression and how being on the mic for him is is the greatest thing on earth. it's like it's like he said that depression for him is like when you're underwater and you're about to sink, ne? and then when he's on stage it's yeah. like grasping for that air. So every time he's on wow. stage, he can, yeah. you must watch it, baby. What's that yeah. show called? The, the that white comedian who's got depression wrote for Dave Chappelle. Yeah, please tell me now. It's on Netflix. You got to watch it, man. It's dope. Dope, dope, dope. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, cool. I, I'll check it out. I'll, I'll check it out, definitely. So give us a few I lines. I the name, though. Yeah, cool. give us a few lines there. Make us laugh. Ah, my man. Ah, my man. Why are you putting me on the spot now? <laughs> <laughs> Drop some bars. <laughs> okay. You can, Drop some bars, you can, man. <laughs> you, can run, you, you can run into a doctor and be like, Doctor, I operate right now. I'm here. You know, man. <laughs> show, show me what you can do with my heart. <laughs> <laughs> my man, take out your needles now. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> ah, okay, Dr. Tepi, so... <laughs> Okay, uh, cool. You, you, you know what it is, man. Let me uh, let, let me check uh Dave Chappelle, right? Uh Netflix. Dave Chappelle. Like what does your cap say? My cap, it says complimentary. My girl gave me this cap on my birthday. Uh, huh? accomplish, accomplish. Uh, accomplish, yes. Wasn't it accomplish? Oh, wait, that's yes, a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Burning. <laughs> Dave Chappelle, Netflix, writer. I'll find this guy for you, man. Ah, you gotta watch it. Uh, and he's so good. He has it's called three mics. It's called three. Yeah, Neil Brennan. Yes. Oh Neil oh yeah, Neil Brennan. I've I've heard of him. He's uh he, he used to go to high school with Dave Chappelle, right? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything that you've told me today, it's exactly him. So you got to watch it, man. It's dope. You'll enjoy it. Especially that you're a comedian. Is it? I, I yeah. had no idea. Uh, thank you so much for calling me a comedian, Mac. I have never <laughs> been called that. <laughs> you know what? You, 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 <laughs> and Tepi, so remember, you said whatever right? you dream comes true. So, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's actually, it's actually crazy. What did I want to say? I wanted to say something. Oh, um, as I was about to say, uh, the the only way I know that uh, 
people compliment me is when they say that I'm crazy. Like, are <laughs> you crazy? That's when I know that it's their way of saying you are a comedian. Mm. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. All right, Tepi, so thank yeah. you so much, man. Yeah. No, thank you, man, and thank you so much for for the opportunity. Thank you so much for for the podcast and chill. Mama, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, feel free to call oh, us yeah. anytime, ne? Yeah. Ah, uh, you and know, you what know it a is, lot of people man. will be you know so encouraged is. by your story, Tepi. So. I hope so. I hope so. Cheers, ghost lady. All right, cheers, my thank G. you. Bye. <laughs> cheers, man. Yeah. No, but hey. Uh, we'll be fine as long as we survive this. I think it's a sharp. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. It's just, I guess, the worry of how are people doing, you know, mm. behind all these closed doors, Shem. You know, it just, it just. Oh yeah. By the way, if you're wondering why Lynn couldn't join us, is because um, sorry to cut you, the ghost lady. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, he had a power failure, but uh, power failure tomorrow. Yeah. I know because I'm also close to Len and I was also struggling with my connection earlier um, when you started the the recording. So, yeah. But I'm excited. At least my part. We're finally going to do we're finally going to do the speed dating thing, ne? So, we're definitely doing it this week. Let's do it this week. We are looking for one eligible bachelorette. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, if you're a lady and you're single and you want us to hook you up, uh, text us on the WhatsApp line and then we'll get you on the next Zoom sometime during this week and then we'll see uh, if we can hook you up with some board. Yes. And then also, but also, we also need a bachelor and, and a bachelor as well because remember, now we must connect them. Oh, so you want to do one, because what I was thinking is we have one lady and then we take like yeah. maybe five guys or three guys and then she chooses one. Oh, Okay, all right, I get it. Yeah, I get and then it. next week we'll do a guy and then a, with girls. Yeah, but remember also, I, I remember the other suggestion as well that if uh, someone wants to be reconnected, mm, mm. yes, if you've got somebody that you already know, yeah, and you want us to help you reconnect. Yeah, let's let's not do all the features now. We might run out because we're going to be quarantining for the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> so let's save some features. Oh, oh, so so I'm, I I must keep the content. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that after July. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's September content. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ghost Lady, love you long time. Keep safe, man. We'll chat soon. Love you too, McGee's. Bye right, bye. So, so make sure you do Thank subscribe. 34,000. Yes, we appreciate you. We love you so much. Thank you. And let's keep growing. Do smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. All the time. And look out for some dope content coming your way. We are here. Lockdown or not. Yeah, boy. All right. We are here. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.